Hi, my name is Patrick Collins. I'm an Integrated Resources Analyst at Celco, and I'm here to talk to you today about net zero emissions, demand response, and strategic electrification. No worries if you haven't heard of these terms before, because I'm going to explain all these interesting topics and what Celco is doing in these areas. As you may already know, Massachusetts passed major climate legislation earlier this year that makes our state a leader in climate change mitigation efforts and establishes a roadmap to reach net zero emissions by 2050. It is very comprehensive and far reaching, but the basics are that a statewide 50% emissions reduction must be met by 2030, 75% by 2040, and net zero emissions by 2050. Everyone must do their fair share and participate in these goals. So what is net zero emissions? It means greenhouse gas emissions like carbon dioxide must be eliminated or offset to bring total carbon emissions at or below 1990 levels. In addition to reducing overall emissions, offsetting emissions through carbon sequestration is an important tool for achieving net zero emissions. How does sequestration work? Carbon capture and storage technology, like artificial trees that suck CO2 out of the air, is being developed and tested. But the best approach is simply to plant more trees. They absorb CO2 and release oxygen. Selco has given away more than 12,000 free tree seedlings to customers since 2005, which has sequestered an estimated 1,000 metric tons of CO2. The shade that trees provide during summer can reduce the need for AC and improve energy efficiency. Customers could save up to 20% on their energy bills by strategically planting trees. Net zero emissions will be challenging to accomplish but it is attainable. The plan involves relying heavily on the electricity sector to serve as the foundation for an energy system transformation. Electric utilities like Celco have a very important role to play as more renewable energy like solar, wind, and hydro replace carbon-based generation like natural gas, coal, and oil. In 2021, Celco's power supply will be 45% clean, non-carbon, and we have recently adopted a formal policy that targets an annual increase of 5% each year to reach 100% clean power by 2032, well ahead of the 2050 goal set by the state. This will be accomplished by entering into new renewable power contracts with associated environmental certificates, or RECs, like offshore wind. This makes Selco a leader in environmental sustainability and climate action. Selco offers our customers rebates and incentives on these electric alternatives like heat pumps, electric lawn equipment, electric vehicles, mini split AC heaters, and more. These incentives help accelerate fuel shifting and will drive adoption of strategic electrification. We also offer a very generous solar rebate to encourage customers to generate their own clean electricity to use at home and even export excess production onto our grid through net metering. Free home energy audits are available to improve general home efficiency and identify ideal electrification setups for your home. For example, Selco offers comprehensive technical assistance to guide customers through all steps of evaluating, designing, and installing electric heat pump systems. There's another sustainability area that Selco is very active in which is known as demand response. Ultimately, end users, like all Selco customers, have a role to play in reducing energy use, especially at critical peak times. These peak periods, often during the hottest days of the year, cause stress on grid infrastructure and extremely high prices for electricity, which impacts costs for all Selco ratepayers. If we all make an effort to reduce energy consumption during these times, it will save money, reduce emissions from fossil fuel peaker plants, and reduce grid stress. Selco customers can earn monthly incentives for participating in our Connected Homes program. The Connected Homes program allows customers to enroll their eligible smart Wi-Fi enabled electric devices like thermostats, EV chargers, batteries, hot water heaters, and mini split controllers to make brief limited adjustments to their devices during times of peak electric demand. For example, increasing the temperature setting by a few degrees on AC thermostats and temporarily reducing the charging rate 
of an electric vehicle charger during peak hours. Customers can opt out of these adjustments if they want to, but they won't receive an incentive for that month. Selco also just launched a new EV rebate program that incentivizes electric vehicle adoption. Selco customers can receive a free EV charger for participating in our scheduled charging program. Our scheduled charging program reduces the charging rate during typical peak hours of 5 p.m. to 9 p.m., Monday through Friday, and also during major peak events as they occur. Looking ahead to the future, Selco is also rolling out new AMI smart meters that will eventually allow implementation of time of use rates. Time of use rates enable customers to manage their energy bill based on when they choose to use electricity. Typically, with time of use rates, electricity will cost much less during non-peak hours and much more during on-peak hours. Selco is also exploring options for new rebate programs that support residential battery adoption as well as public EV charging infrastructure. To support adoption of electric vehicles, Selco is also in the process of deploying our own chargers throughout town that will be available to anyone to charge up. Keep an eye out for these stations coming soon to the Town Hall, High School, and Dean Park. By participating in demand response programs like these, you are saving yourself and other ratepayers money, as well as mitigating climate change. It's a win-win.